So a little birdie named Twitter recently informed me that the 90s are making a comeback. I, I don't understand what it means. That they're, uh, what part of the 90s? What's going on? So grab your backward baseball cap and your light up sneakers and take a little trip down memory lane with me. You know, you don't have to hold my hand. But I'd, I'd like it if you did. We're gonna start with TV shows, Saved by the Bell. I mean, we can't talk about the 90s without talking about Saved by the Bell, really. I kinda had a crush on Screech. Zack was only cute for like, the first few episodes, and then he started taking steroids or something, because he just, he didn't look good anymore. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Was I the only one that sang along with the theme tune, even though there was no words? Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Sabrina the Teenage Beverly Hills 90210. I, I didn't know what was going on in that show. I think I was a bit young for it. There was a guy called Brandon. He was on drugs, is what I remember. The Den. I know I'm alienating a lot of my viewers right now, but The Den is just a purely Irish thing. I can't explain it. There was a, a talking turkey and a talking sock monster and a, a reasonably average good looking guy in the middle sometimes. Are you afraid of the dark? The creepiest part for me was when they put out the fire. It's just, that was like the scariest part. Boy bands. NSYNC. Like NSYNC, where they were so ahead of their time, you know? Remember that song Digital Get Down? I don't really understand. It seems to be about the internet in some in some way. An LFO. Light funky ones. Yeah. I feel like L LFO were kind of like what guys are actually like. His NSYNC was all like, you know, this I promise you, my love is like a river peaceful and deep. And then LFO were all like I think it's fly when girls stop by for the summer. I like Chinese food. Nah, it makes me sick, actually. <laughs> Aaron Carter. Oh gosh, Aaron Carter. I just, I just want to share something real quick about my relationship with Aaron Carter. I had this daydream about Aaron Carter. I had this daydream that I would wake up one morning and everyone in the world would be gone. It would just be me and Aaron Carter left. Like, we were the only two left in the world. Like, and I wasn't ever upset that like, oh, I don't have a family anymore. It was just like, well, we're the only two people in the world, he has to date me now. Free stuff in the cereal, you know, like properly. Like none of this having to like collect 10 packs and then fill out a flip. No, you just got it straight away. Instant gratification, baby. That's what it was about. I mean, we have that now with the internet, but like still, I prefer the stuff in the cereal. The glow in the dark stickers, holograms. There were Pocahontas holograms. I'm freaking out right now. I, mean, I guess it was kind of gross, actually. You know, the rule in the house was that you were supposed to wait until it naturally fell out. You know, like on the ants, you pour in the cereal and ah, surprise! Did we ever abide to that rule? No. Straight in there with our dirty paws, just floppy disks. I didn't have a PC, but I collected floppy disks. They made me feel like a secret agent. So on every single floppy disk, I would write top secret. Because it, I mean it was, it was top secret. All those blank floppy disks. The only time I wasn't a tomboy was when I was playing with Polly Pockets. What the flip did I do with them? Tiny little things in a big massive house. Where? And that was in the days whenever, like, they were actually small. You know, nowadays they're like they're the size of like Tyrannosaurus Rexes or something. Did kids' pockets just get really, really big? Action then. Yeah. He had the scar somewhere, the, the tattoo, and the Alsatian. He was great. S spirographs. Or spiroglyphics. I don't think it's spiroglyphics. It's like, you know what it is. If you had one, you know what it is. Talk boys. I think there was a, a girl version for this. But it was called Talk Girl and it was pink, but it was the same thing, but mine was silver and it was called the Talk Boy. It was kind of deceiving because it looked like a um, like a camcorder. You, you talked into it and it recorded your voice. Yeah, did it? Hours of fun I had with that. Man, I would interview my imaginary friends. Yeah, it was good times though, good times. I actually didn't have a Walkman. My older brother did, and I'd sneak into his room and I'd listen to his. Every time I was like, maybe today it'll be sync or maybe a bit of TLC or something but it was always just this garbage like literally it was the band garbage oh and sometimes um, this song I don't I can't find it it went like I like to move it move it I like to move it move it I like to move it I kind of listened to, to all my brother's music and like I didn't I didn't enjoy it I mean I kind of did I was like I'm not ready yet to enjoy it I'm not ready to let go of I was gonna say Joey Fatone. Who flipping like Joey Fatone from NSYNC? I think this is crossing over into the noughties. 
Pokemon stickers. Yeah, I think that's early, two, I think that's 2000. So I won't say too much about that other than I had a sparkly Blastoise, okay? Mood rings were awesome. But then there's always that smart ass kid that ruined it for you. Like, no, you know, it's just like your temperature is changing. Like, who asked you? It's a mood ring, okay? It's factual. Inflatable furniture. Oh, and inflatable aliens. Oh, and grow aliens. <laughs> Breathe. Okay, let's start with inflatable furniture. Why was that cool? It just was. It was just really cool. You had a cool room if you had an inflatable chair. It was squeaky and not comfortable. It was cool. And then just the big old, big old inflatable alien. I had like five of them. Okay, so I think that is all I can remember from the 90s. I'm sure there's much more. I sh I'm sure there is much more. Roller skates. Just thought I would. Comments down below, guys. Go crazy. What do you remember from the 90s? What do you hate from the 90s? I can't think of anything really that I hated from the 90s. School, I guess. I went to school. I guess there was no internet as well. There was none of this. We didn't have this going on. So just plenty of things I hated. VHSs, of course. And you'd rent them out and, you know, it was always a big annoying thing when the person before you didn't rewind it all the way back. So you're like, don't look, don't look, spoiler alerts everywhere, you know, when you're rewinding it back. But you could do that thing where you just stopped it and rewinded it back. The 90s makes me very <laughs> hyperactive. As opposed to the, just the, the silk screen, I guess.